Hi, this is Jim Sackman from Focal Point, and this is all about time and your participation. It's one of our Success Friday videos that comes out every week to talk about different small business issues. Now, this week I'm going to talk a little bit more about time management. I've been talking about the transformation from money to time and time to money inside a business, and this time I want to focus on a person's actual time management. And I've been working very closely with a client who's got that as an issue. Now, he's an executive, so he doesn't have complete control of his time. But he, his A-list items were overflowing his schedule. And we went through urgent and important and A, B, C, D, E. And they were still overflowing his schedule. So we went back through and made sure that all the items that were on his list required his personal participation. And because some of them didn't, he could go put together a request, a budget request, to be able to delegate these to somebody else or to outsource them to somebody else. The same was true once we got through that process. We went through some of the bigger ticket items in terms of the time spent and found administrative and rote tasks he could outsource there as well. Um, that was very useful and got very close to the amount of work that he needed just by looking at those tasks that didn't require him to the time he needed to get back and then by going through the large tasks we were able to get to the point where we were able to find chunks of time that were able to get him to do the things that he wanted to do that he wasn't able to do in his job. So that was all quite productive. And then the other uh, challenge that he was having in, in one of these areas was um, a bit of an urgent and important problem you know that you might find in a covey which had to do with proactive communications and that is I run into this with people who have customer service responsibility or other um, uh, feedback responsibility from ex from the outside world in that they get ad hoc calls because they haven't communicated change in status in a proactive way and set expectations around the uh, information updates. So with those kind of people, and I've got a general contractor who goes through the same thing, I make sure that he tells people I'm going to update you on any changes end of business day you know so if there's something that's going to happen it's going to change a schedule or change a workload weather availability of equipment or personnel I'm going to update you at this time and the whole idea is if you can control when that communications is then you can do it more efficiently than interrupting tasks all the time so that task interruption causes a lot of inefficiency in time so if you can just go through and update everybody at the end of the day whether it's electronically through email or through a phone call then you can control your time better than just doing it in a interruptive manner so this is Jim Sackman from Focal Point change your business change your life and have a great day